Hello lovelies, it's Jasmine CMB and I would like to welcome you back to my safe space. In this video I will be showing you how I achieved this purple and orange cut crease look which I think is perfect for the fall season. Warm tones are literally my favorites in the fall and I just had so much fun creating this look because fall is literally my favorite season. So what better way to embrace my favorite season than to show you guys how to achieve a look to get you into the fall vibes. My hair today is giving Shaka Khan honey. I just wanted to do something big so I just put these crimps in there and I just can't wait to show you guys how I achieved this look. I had so much fun creating this video. Fall looks are my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoy watching it just as much as I did creating it and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel be on the lookout for my giveaway that i have coming once i've reached 100 subscribers i will be sure to drop that immediately let's just stop talking and get right into the video the brows are already done brows are boring to me but if you do want me to do a in-depth brow tutorial i i don't even know if my brows are like twins today but I like them. They'll look good after I put on eyeshadow and a full beat. Don't get me wrong, okay? So if they look a little lopsided right now, it's only temporary. But I'm gonna try to be like zoomed in because this is all about the eyes and I'm so excited. I really want to be able to do more bold looks, more colorful looks because that is stepping out of my comfort zone. Going into this new season, this new year, I want to step out of my comfort zone more. Claps for everybody who's going to be stepping out of their comfort zone and being uncomfortable before it gets comfortable. You know what I mean? Like, try new things. Let's let's just all do it. So, let's get into the face. Starting off with primer, I'm using the Elf Putty Primer today. Nice amount on there. Unless it's like a mattifying primer, I feel like all primers are pretty good at filling in the pores. I don't really stray away from the ones that I'm normally using. My favorites are the Angel Veil. Like you guys saw in my black owned brands video, I enjoy using the Fenty primer now too. So just something to separate the skin and the makeup and mattify you if you like to be matte. Normally when People do bold eye looks, they'll go in with their eyeshadow first, but I like to go in with the skin first always, and then just put a little bit of powder underneath to make sure that there's no fallout. Today I'm going to be mixing two foundations. I really love this Maybelline Superstay. This one is really good. It's in the shade 360, which is a little bit deeper than what I normally go with, and then I'll mix it with this shishido shishido or shishado foundation and this one is really good it's so full coverage this is their psychro 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 skin self refreshing foundation so i'm gonna mix and make a match made in heaven because mixing foundations is like needed sometimes you know what i mean either sometimes the color is not up to par or the formula is not performing I just use one pump of that, make a little cocktail on the back of my hand. I really wanted to do a fall look today because fall is my favorite season. Using the e.l.f. brush, this is their buffing foundation brush. What was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, fall is my absolute favorite. I don't know why I'd be thinking I can do this without using a mirror in front of me. Uno momento, por favor. I gotta have a mirror. And my setup is not, you know, elite to where I have a table in front of me yet. So I'm like looking at the mirror on my counter and trying to multitask, but it's not working. So I'm gonna use this. It is the best season that God created. Every season that he created is absolutely amazing. But fall specifically is 
my favorite. The simple fact that, one, it's not too hot and I can wear any makeup look in the fall. I can do the heaviest amount of foundation and concealer and not melt. And I love that. And also it's just the looks like clothes to the shoes to like oversized sweaters and hoodies. Ugh. And then like food. Like when I think of fall, I think of like pumpkin everything. Been really, really loving pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice has been my shit. Like I literally add pumpkin syrup to any drink at Starbucks now. Like any drink that I get, I'm just gonna add pumpkin spice. That's what I've been doing all season. And when I tell you, shoo, it just changes your entire life. I don't know, but pumpkin just is everything. Like pumpkin candles. Some people don't like pumpkin. I wasn't all that crazy about pumpkin like a couple years ago. You could not convince me to join the pumpkin spice cult a few years ago, but I don't know what's coming over me. Like I just love everything about pumpkin. I still, I'm still not a pumpkin pie fan. I prefer sweet potato, but everything else pumpkin is a vibe. I know y'all like, I know she's not blending out her foundation with this white scarf across her forehead. And I am because this little scarf serves one purpose and that is just to melt the wig. It's gonna be alright if we get a little bit of brown foundation on it. <laughs> my goal today is to really get up close and personal in my eyes with you guys so that you can see what I'm doing. I know I don't normally do that but I want y'all to be able to appreciate this look that I have in my mind. And I pray that the look can appreciate my skills and turn out right. Sometimes the two just don't correlate. Rear vision and then what you're doing at the time just don't correlate at that moment. But when you try it again, it's like, okay, this is what I was trying to do before. And you just wasn't cooperating. I want to go heavy with my concealer today using Tarte Shape Tape in the lightest shade that I would ever use. And that is Tan Sand. Just before they had made darker shades, this is this is the color that I was using. And this is very intimidating for some people because it is very, very light, but I'm telling y'all, it just blends into your skin. I be trying to tell people like, just get a yellow concealer. Just get a yellow concealer. I promise you it's going to work out. You're not going to look too light in the end, I promise. I hope my eye don't water today, you guys, because sometimes when that happens, whew, nothing, nothing turns out right. That's just something that comes with having allergies. Oh, I just like literally switched topics that quick. What was I talking about? One thing about me, I'm going to make sure I cover these dark circles. And that's all that, period. I wish I had the energy to record more often because ugh, I don't know why, but like the pressure of doing your makeup on camera just makes you do it really, really good sometimes, I feel like. Like I'll get done doing a makeup look. Like right now, I'm literally just not doing anything. It's like 7 p.m. a random Tuesday and I'm not going nowhere, but watch this makeup look turn out bomb and I'm like, damn, I wish I would have <laughs> made plans or something. Oh, by the way, I'm just taking my powder, um, C7 Nut Brown, really great powder, just to set the face, tapping it all over, so that we can get into this eye look. I'm so excited! So, lost the top to this, by the way. Just been patting on the back of stuff. Take my sponge and just... Go from inner to outer because we're going to really do it up with the eye today. I'm taking kind of a lot of powder. Well, no, I'm taking a lot of powder. I'm going to definitely blend it away, blend it into my skin. It's not going to look like this later, so don't be alarmed. <laughs> See, like, it's so bad. All right, I'm going to use a couple different palettes for this look. Um, but first, let me put some concealer on top of the eyes. Don't know why I didn't do this while I was blending out my um, under eye concealer, but I'm doing it now. So, ooh, did I get? 
think I got some of that powder on the camera. Hold on, you guys. <laughs> Just blending it. Because I want to get, like, the maximum amount of color. Like, I want it to be bold, okay? Oh, I'm so excited. I can just like feel it in my soul that this is going to turn out really nice because I've been doing great at cut creases. They're like my new favorite thing. And I figured out that if I keep on buying eyeshadow palettes like this, I got to use it. So speaking of eyeshadow palettes, can we talk about Kylie's packaging on her leopard collection? Like it is so bob. The thing about Kylie, she gonna have some bomb ass fucking packaging, okay? Base for eyeshadow. Let's just get right into it. Starting off with a very controversial, con controversial, very controversial eye palette. I didn't have problems with this, you guys. So let me just like go back into it and play with it. This is one of Jaclyn Hill's bulk collection eyeshadow palettes, and this is the Ring the Alarm one. I didn't have problems with it. I still use it. I think it's nice. Personally, I think it's nice. Somebody gonna be like, no, that shit is trash. No, it's actually good. I like it. So I'm taking this orange shade in the shade alert. I'm just gonna take who like I think that this palette is nice. I don't care what anyone says. This palette is nice. I'm just pressing that orange into the inner portion of the eye really nice and bold the palette also has a purple in there but that's not the purple that i want to use i want to use this purple in my juvies palette here and if it's not dark enough i will go in with that other one but I think this is going to be what I need. I'm just packing it first. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wanna go darker, but let me be a little humble for a second. orange brush the brush with the orange on there to blend out some of that purple or you can take the clean brush I love these colors mixed together they're so pretty I'm gonna deepen up that purple a bit because it's looking really pink and bright and I don't want that. There's a purple in the Rockstar one, or this is the Bling Boss one, and it's called Rockstar. Picking that up with a very, very tiny precision brush. I'm loving these colors together, they're so pretty. And my eyes are doing that watery thing, which I hate, but we'll get over it. I want more of that purple in the crease. So I'm going to pack it in to that area. Once we pack it into that area, that's going to be where we define our cut. I think it was in my last video, I showed you guys how I like to cut my crease now. So I just take my concealer a little bit, just across the eye and this is going to be a half cut crease so i'm not going to go in that area it got quieter because my neighbor's not showering anymore but i'm just gonna look up and where i look is where the cut is going to be and we take our little concealer brush and start connecting the lines by dragging it downwards. I just took whatever excess from the cut 
was left and put it on this other eye. I'm trying to really show you guys what I'm doing. I'm just gonna take the first brush that I used to put that purple and just start blending into the middle. So like just bringing whatever color we can into the middle of the eye. Pressing it into the eye. This looks, oh, dropped my brush, wow. I could do like this color here. It's like a pinky shade. It's so pretty though, like. Look at that, it has like gold and pink. I wish I had a bigger brush. You're, you'd be surprised. Like there's so many things that I don't have that I'm like, I wish I had in the middle of doing my makeup. And then I go buy it like the next day. love this eyeshadow look let's finish the face first i like to just take the brush and just take any glitter or eyeshadow that might be on my eye and just sweep that away but i'm gonna blend the powder into my skin like that On the bottom lash line, I'm just gonna mock what I did on the top, and I'm gonna go intense. I never go this intense, you guys, but I'm gonna do it. Ooh, got a lot of fallout. It is okay. Really just blend that into the bottom, to the top, making it nice and bold. In the orange, and the same brush. I'm gonna take some eye pencil. This is the Urban Decay one, and I'm just gonna go like. All right, in the eye to deepen it up a bit. I'm gonna contour using my MAC blush in Blunt. This is like something I've had forever. I probably should throw it away, but I just love the color. I'm gonna highlight really quick just to like give me some more life into my skin because I feel like a naked mole rat right now with all of this eyeshadow on. <laughs> the nose, cheek, this cheek. And this is just my So Hollywood. I use the same highlighter because I'm trying to get rid of it to be quite frank. I'm gonna add a little bit of an inner corner highlight. For lashes, I'm gonna try the new uh, Lash In Line by Ilore. I got this from a giveaway that they were doing. I was so excited. I posted on my Instagram when I saw it in the mail and can't wait to try it. This is what it looks like. It has a felt tip. Ooh, it's like so easy to swipe too. All right, let's see. This is already how I did my lashes, so it's like so fascinating to see a product designed to do it that way. Because you don't have to let it dry, you just put it right on there. So, oh my God, it's really sticking. Wow, so cool, so cool, so cool, you guys. Oh, I'm obsessed already. That was like pretty cool. I'm gonna have to keep using it to see if I really, really love it, but I feel like it's just gonna make it so much easier for everyone to do their lashes because that's something that we all tend to struggle with, getting our lashes on perfectly. The KKW Lip Liner in Nude 3 because that's my absolute favorite. Super cute. Maybelline Amazonian, perfect color for the fall. So 
we're done okay you guys so this completes the final look i hope you guys enjoyed watching it just as much as i enjoyed creating it i really love the power of makeup it just it's so much fun it's a passion it's a love it's near and dear to my heart and if you're a makeup lover like me be sure to like comment and subscribe to this video i will be giving you so much more like i said i have so many more palettes coming in the mail and what better way to show you them than to create different looks and perfect my skill share this with your friends i hope you guys have a wonderful fall season and even better holiday season um, I am so blessed that I am here and living and I hope you guys feel the same because we've really had a hard year but together we can make it through. Just continue to be a positive light to all people that you come across because you never know what day someone is having so just try to be that positive light and that's what I want to be to you. I hope you loved it. I love it. Cannot stop looking at myself. Wish I was going somewhere, but like I said, not going anywhere. It's, what time is it? It's literally 9.45, so I'm just gonna take this off and go to bed probably, cause I do work at seven. Now I'm just chatting you guys. <laughs> Love you, mwah. Bye lovelies.